everybody and welcome to the new video. Today's one is in probably familiar background for many of you. If it is familiar, please leave a comment below. If it's not familiar, then welcome to my channel. You're probably 2020, 2021 subscriber. Um, either way, welcome to everybody. Today's video is a little bit of a twist because usually in January I would always film my updated handbag collection video. I've done that for the past I don't know how many years. It would take me like a whole day to film this video. I would make sure to have like all the pictures on Instagram of like how I wore these bags, like all of this good stuff. By the way, if you can hear some seagulls, we are by the sea, so you know. I hope you don't find it extremely annoying, but more relaxing. So here I am to do this video, but it's not going to be my handbag collection video just because, well, of many reasons, which I'm not going to go into, but I'm going to do my Chanel handbag collection. They're not, there isn't like a vast amount of bags, but there are around like 15, I believe. I haven't actually counted them, but that's just like approximate number. And um, yeah, I wanted to get straight into showing you all of my new and old Chanel bags that I got in my collection. I think that like, especially now with Chanel increasing their prices to a stupid amount, I think this will probably be my collection for a while, but then I say that and then who knows what comes on in my brain spring summertime you know girls allowed to change her mind right now i wanted to also try on every bag just because there isn't like you know that massive amount of bags like it's not like we're talking about 80 bags we're talking about 15 so i wanted to do a little try on of all the bags but then i thought okay i'll show you instagram posts of every time i wore them etc and then i wanted to match them with like some of the chanel ready to wear that i have but i thought maybe that's not so relatable i think that like chanel ready to wear is probably more expensive than most of the handbags i do own quite an amount of chanel ready to wear but like recently i remember shopping with my friend monica in florida when we discovered that like a t-shirt was 4,000 euros and we were like what so I find personally I find Chanel jackets like timeless beautiful I love their style it doesn't matter if they're Chanel or even like Saint Laurent doing like tweed jackets I find those jackets beautiful I think they're like they're they're timeless they're classic they're so easy wearable I would say like you can wear them nine months in a year maybe even 12 there I say under a coat and today's video is sponsored by Urban Revival who's doing like incredible pieces which I think are perfect tweed jacket alternatives very like Chanel inspired style and I really wanted to show them to you because I think this is quite more of a relatable content especially in January when people are searching for more affordable pieces you know pieces that you want to wear and love and enjoy but you don't want them to break all of your budgets right at the beginning of the year right so I think I have like five pieces or even more that I picked because I really like them I thought it like it was very easy to find so many things on the website and I'm gonna try them on and talk about them to you. So the first jacket that I picked uh, is this white one. It has like a stitching on the pockets, it has like big gold buttons with what looks like a crown no or like two yeah maybe like a crown on them i find it like really really beautiful because sometimes when you find those like tweed jackets they can be like a, looking a bit unfinished this is so beautiful with like buttons on the sleeves buttons straight front the pockets and it's like cropped which makes it perfect to be styled with like skirt or denim closed open anything you want so this is the first piece that i picked and i really really love this in fact i wasn't sure if i wanted to get this piece or i wanted to get a different white jacket but then I saw that they were actually completely different so I got both especially because the price was so good and for the quality that you know I could justify it like I said Urban Revival is sponsoring this video but I have ended up purchasing a few of these pieces with my own money just because I couldn't really settle on just a few pieces so we have this piece and this is not really a jacket it's more of a cardigan I would say as you can see it's like stretchy it's quite thick it's not like one of those like thin cardigans that you put on and you're like oh how do I style this it's quite thick so it can be kind of styled as a jacket and I can't wait to try it on because I haven't actually tried it on yet has the pearl buttons down the middle which are framed with like a goldish frame and then it has this round like a gold 
thread running down the middle very smart also these kind of pieces are perfect for work or like fun it depends obviously on your personal style so you would have to decide on that i wanted to say before i started that i picked all of the items in size medium because well because i just followed the size recommendation as it's my first time picking things from them and i am 170 four centimeters tall so yeah hope that helps you when it comes to choosing your own sizing okay now i can't wait to talk to you about my favorite piece of the collection which is this black tweed crop jacket actually there was something from chanel that i wanted that looked pretty much like this not the same obviously it's just like a similar vibe like crop jacket and i believe i even vlogged it in november i think this is so stunning it has this like chain like effect on the pockets and it has big golden buttons this looks so vintage this looks like something that my mom wore in 90s end of 80s like when i look at the pictures my mom would wear all the time these kind of like cords of this kind and i just really really love it i love the massive gold buttons on this occasion the gold button has a little anchor and i don't know i just think this is the most beautiful piece like i love it can't wait to style this i would love to style this actually with like black stirrup leggings this buttoned up high heels and go for a dinner out and even maybe a shirt that's poking out like a frilly little shirt that's also so cute or without it that's like you know like when a jacket like this can look sexy it really can when you go for like the vintage vibe look and high heels i really really love that and i think this is also super beautiful when worn open again for work for a night out for dinner it's so versatile and that's why i think like when you have more of these pieces in your collection it's so much easier to kind of like mix and match them and wear them whenever you feel like it so super super cute in case you wanted to get any of these pieces i have linked all the products in the description box below so you can check them out i think that um yeah like i said they're quite uh, quite pieces and um, there's quite a variety that you can check out yourself as well because they get a lot of new things on there as well now this is more of a cardigan as well it has like a bit of silvery thread running through there as well which makes it a little bit smarter the button is like gold beautiful um i really really think this piece is probably the most casual of all i've shown because it's a bit of a chunkier cardigan the one that you like open and wear over like a top like this so i mean it will see it on a try on but i will open it now and put it on because the thing is i am showing these items to you now for the first time and i'm really dying to try them on so they i have to be very honest they look so well made and they look like they're such great quality here we go so this is the cardigan i really like it it actually has these also like details on the um, on the sleeves that i think are quite what makes it look very like expensive and more elevated which personally for me i think those kind of details are always very important in clothing now last item before i start talking to you about my handbags is going straight into my sun Bart's suitcase it's actually a set of few things and it's probably the one piece that isn't that like that chanel inspired it's more of a just a classic crop top here we have love this kind of stuff you guys know i have these in white in black in gray in beige in nude and i tend to wear them like throughout the whole year because they just always go really well with high-waisted jeans that comes with a skirt like a mini purple skirt that i think is super cute and even very 90s very clueless inspired little crop cardigan this looks so tiny like a barbie one but obviously this stretches a lot and is in size small mine let's see i'll try different sizes and i'll let you know in the comments what i think i believe i'm more on the medium side but when things like this that stretch and are like easier i'd be fine and the reason why i really wanted to get this set will get us to my first chanel bag that i'm going to talk to you about but i just wanted to say that's all about urban revival like i said i will link everything in the description box below so you can check out their website and you can check all the other things that they have on there so happy shopping i will start probably from the newer generation of handbags in my collection and just because it's like easier that way and just because i mentioned the purple set now the purple set i don't have many like lilac -y things in my wardrobe unfortunately because this caught my eye last year and you guys know that 
I really love this bag now. This is a Chanel mini classic flap with the top handle. It's like a, you know, they're just like standard mini classic flap. I love the mini classic flaps. I never actually had many and then purple color that I'm going to wear together. Now in this light, I'm not sure it's working, but in real life it's really working. This is more of a bluish undertone though. This is more of like a warmer undertone, but I think it will work perfectly because these, this is just like a very versatile tile light purple and I've worn it already. You've seen it in my vlog style. Talking about mini flaps, that's not the only mini flap that I have. I have one in this beautiful creamy olive color and this is with the silver hardware. There's one thing with mini flaps that a little bit annoys me and that's the fact that the chain is way too long. I'm not gonna talk about each individual bag for way too long because 15 bags, you know, if I speak five minutes about every, <laughs> this video will be over an hour long. So this one is like I said in a beautiful Beautiful creamy olive color, silver hardware, Mona Lisa smile <laughs> pocket at the back. I love this because for evenings it's perfection. And when you don't want to wear like a bright pink handbag or like a lilac or blue, this is not black but it's still quite chic and muted. I love it. It was one of the first bags that I got, if not the first, after the robbery and um, I really really love it. It's kind of like special if you know what I mean. I wore it in Capri and uh, it has a really nice um, um, space in my wardrobe. Next up we have a classic flap. Now this one is in a very very stunning blue color. So you guys remember I had this yellow classic flap which had blue inside and I was so gutted when that got stolen that I wanted to get something fun again and since this collection was still in stores and this was um, as my essay said the last bag of this kind of this style in Europe I was like okay I really need to have it it's a sign. What I really love about it well it's like a very smooth leather but it has this in this beautiful blue color but it has this iridescent hardware and I think you can see it's like sometimes blue sometimes pink and I love the contrast between these two colors is this not stunning now the classic flaps are so expensive nowadays so expensive but I really am so sad that um, I can't like build my collection more because I've already been like you know dropped back by three pieces so you know it is what it is besides this classic flap in my collection I have another one which you've recently seen in my what I got for Christmas video and when I opened this something came to my attention I don't know if you can see it so yeah I guess like the difference in sizing came to my attention but also what I think is really fascinating to me is how much different caviar feels from lamb like obviously we always knew that right but just like not not just the leather itself the general feel of the bag is just so I don't know like this seems so much tinier and I don't know it's just general vibe um, it's completely different and I really love these bags I wish the color of this would show well but hopefully I will have an Instagram to show you by the time this video goes live of me wearing it because I cannot wait to show you what this bag looks like in real life if I don't have I will just insert a picture from internet because I think it's too beautiful not to show those four bags are the four bags that I got after July and now I'm gonna go back into all the good classic ones that I have. You will probably see that the difference behind me will change a little bit as I go through the video just because some of the bags are still on the shelf. So uh, which way do I start? Let me start with the wintery one since we're in January at least in this part of hemisphere it's still winter hopefully not for too long. We have a Gabrielle bag. When this bag came out I didn't think much of it I didn't really consider it that much but then when I saw this tweed version because you guys know how much I love tweed I was like okay done I need it and even though I'm not like a massive fan of red color especially this one I really love this bag and I wore it quite a bit it has this um, zip which I think is really beautiful because it's heavy and it has a heavy logo and what really sold me when it comes to this bag is definitely not the inside which is by the way canvas <laughs> lol uh, but it does have like a lipstick section a pocket section all the good stuff however what sold me to it is the fact that the chain is in two different metal colors so you have like the silver and the gold and you can wear it like 
crossbody, you can wear it as a backpack, you can wear it so many different ways that I thought it was very, very versatile and very rock and roll. And I love when Chanel does like rock and roll pieces that are more cool and less like all over logo bag that every girl on Instagram has. It, this was like, this just felt a little bit more niche. There was one more bag from this collection that Chanel did that I thought was way too cool for Chanel, but it wasn't my personal style because I don't like fringe that much. I'll insert a picture if I can find it. I don't know, I just think Chanel sometimes really has incredible pieces and this is one of their, I think like five classics, is it five classics that they do? The classic flab, the Gabrielle, the 19, yeah, five, trendy and top handle. So I think that's right. I don't know. Anyway, so this is one of their top, like the, one of their five classics that I think is a must have. The one that is really on my radar is to all black with chevron. I think that's so stunning. I have one more mini flap actually that I didn't even realize, but this is such a special piece that I can't even tell you. I'm sad that I haven't actually worn this bag that much, but it's so beautiful. And when I first laid my eyes on it, I was like, I have to have it or nothing, like nothing, like I, I can't not stop thinking about it. I remember I saw it in Paris and I was having coffee with my manager and my friends afterwards and I was like should I get it and they were like no you'll be fine and I was like no I'm gonna get it so I didn't listen to their opinion. It's a beautiful 3D camellia print has a back pocket and this one is like light pink and silver motifs. There was one that was all silver as well. Really really think this is so stunning for evenings just to bring like this as a clutch even. How special is this bag? I mean I have no words. I think, think it's really really exquisite. Next up is a bag that I never really wear anymore and it used to be one of my most worn handbags. It is the Chanel wallet on a chain. I got this like probably five years ago or so maybe even more I can't remember and this is like a boy version of the Chanel wallet and chain. Um, it has silver hardware, it's the boy closure in the front and the boy like sort of piping on the sides that makes it different from the classic wallet on a chain. And I used to love this bag for traveling because there is a receipt in here from 2018, 15th of December 2018. Wow, from a pub, interesting. Anyway, so this bag I is is like smooth. I used to wear it all the time because I would fit like my passport, my cards and like keys in here. And then when I'm traveling, I never actually had to reach for my travel bag, which, you know, would always be like so big that I would feel hot and flustered. Did I lose my passport? Did I lose my boarding pass? Oh my God, it's my turn at the queue. Where's my passport? You know, this kind of stuff, this would save so many problems. So I used to wear it a lot, but perhaps it's the color that is not right for me anymore that makes me not really wear it that much anymore, sadly. That was a wallet and a chain boy version. I'll show you my boys. I have three boys and I'll start from the last one that I got. This is probably also the most expensive one of them because it has like extra detailing. It has the pleating, the piping, as well as it's like a chevron. I love this. When I laid my eyes on this, I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I remember being in two minds between this and between uh, CC Trendy. I ended up getting this and I've worn it so much because this actually color is a beautiful blue, but it's also kind of navy blue, right? So so it went so well with all the like jeans, casual wear, I remember wearing it lots throughout winter. I have like also a navy uh, Chanel coat that I wore it with. So for me, this was absolute perfection of a bag. It's just that lately I'm not so much into, into boy bags. I don't know, like they really had their moment. I remember when I met my friend Sandra, yeah, many years ago, like five, six years ago, we met and she told me that she has like five boy bags and I was like oh my god I have one and I love it and the one that I had at the time was this black completely like lambskin smooth with gold hardware classic it was a bag that I wore so much as you can see inside literally this was my go-to for every special thing and the boy bag I think the boy bag is just so as all versatile because you can wear it so many different ways I used to love wearing it the most crossbody and I love the boy so much that I was very happy when one Christmas I got this one I still think this is probably the coolest boy 
in my collection because it's a smaller one. I love, love this leather color. It's like noisette, like if you ask me, it's kind of like a hazelnut, I don't know, like it's so creamy and beautiful. It's between the beige and light pink with the gunmetal hardware, which I think makes this bag super cool because if it was like a perfect silver or gold, it would just be a little too much. This way, I think it's one of the most beautiful, beautiful bags in my collection. It reminds me so much of my sister. I don't know, I love it. Really, really love this bag and I'm so happy I have it. I'd never get rid of that bag for sure. Next up, one of the most worn bags in my collection is Chanel 19. I got this one the moment that the 19 came out. It only came out in two different colors and it was the navy, this navy tweed, and it was the like original tweed tweed. I'll insert a picture of the two variations that they had. At the time, I remember thinking like, do I really want this bag? It just came out. Is it gonna be a classic? Is it gonna be a trend piece? Turned out being such a classic that basically, obviously now it comes in every possible shape, color, form, size, variation, finish, whatever you want. I, at the time, I really loved that it has, again, two different uh, hardwares, like the silver and the gold, as you can see. And I love tweed, even though tweed at Chanel is so expensive. Um, has the back pocket, as most of you probably know, and I'm so happy that I have the first version of this bag because, I don't know, like it felt so special at the time. I never ever got another 19 again. I did look at another one during pandemic, I remember, but being like, no, this is just not really, it's not my most favorite. I feel like if I'm gonna spend a lot of money at Chanel, it would be for a flap most likely, or a more like extraordinary seasonal piece. So yeah, love this because it fits my laptop. It fits everything I need for work. I put it on my shoulder and I don't feel it. Yes, it gets very, very bulky, but it's an incredible bag. Again, I would never get rid of it because I think a navy tweed it's perfection. I remember that my essay told me after I posted a blog post about it that so many people came to Chanel with my picture being like, can I have this bag? And he was like, I sold it to her. <laughs> so yeah, really, really love it. One of the most worn bags when it comes to bigger bags in my Chanel collection would definitely be the Ville. Now, I love this bag. It's very dirty. I'm sorry. I will have to dry clean it or maybe after I want to bring it to Sun Bart, So maybe I'll dry clean it after Sun Bart. But the reason why I love this bag even more so is the price. I think it's around 2k and like for a Chanel bag that's really really good. I also think that I have the most perfect color combo which is beige and white. I also really like the gray and white and those kind of... There, there are like few colors that I really love but I thought this color combo is so beautiful and this bag's been through so much with me. Like so many different beach moments, travel moments, plane moments whatever you can think of this bag's been through with me as you can see but we will dry clean it so nicely that's a good thing about canvas bad thing is that it gets dirty easily but good thing is that it gets cleaned very easily so yes so let's talk about that CC trendy that I eventually did go back to get and it is the large one in light gray color with silver hardware I really love the plaque that it has I don't know if you can see it. How do I show it to you? I love the plaque that it has on top of the bag. I love that it has a top handle, the structure of this bag. I wore it a fair share amount of times. What I also like is the organization inside. It's pretty neat and easy. At this point, I think this bag now looks a little bit old for my style. Not as in old for age, but old in terms of... How do I say this? Because every time I say something, people can perceive it so wrongly. So let's say it this way. It seems a little dated for my personal style. So not sure. Maybe because of the size, it reminds me a little bit of I don't know, maybe of the of the like boxy style and the top handle that is big. If it was smaller, perhaps I would wear it more and I would like it more, but yeah. At one point also became so commercial that I just couldn't see it anymore, which is, I guess, what happens a lot. One of... <gasps> what happened here? God. Oh. Okay, easy thing with this bag though. Uh, one of the absolute, absolute, absolute favorite bags in my whole entire collection is this one. And people always wonder like why. I, don't, I guess it's not really appealing to most, but it is to me. I love it. I mean, this bag has actual sand inside. Can you believe that? I remember hunting high low for the one because it came in two different versions. One with the pearl um, handle and one without. And I wanted the pearl handle, which was so much more significantly expensive than the one without the pearl handle. But I was like adamant that it had to have the pearl handle. When I saw this bag, I was like, 
most genius creation of Karl Lagerfeld that I've seen and I've seen many and I love it so much and I'm so happy I have it and I will have it forever so yeah very very happy with this bag this is absolute genius piece of art that I usually wear only in the summers and I'm thinking now if I should bring it with me to sandbars because I do think it's very special now you will notice there are two bags missing in this video. One of them is one of my most worn Chanel handbags, which is uh, the Coco Handle White Chevron bag with gold hardware. I'll insert the picture here. I just couldn't bring everything because now I have like a different, completely different security system with storing my bags. So yeah, like it took a little bit more effort. It would take a little bit more effort to bring everything and um, I couldn't unfortunately bring the large maxi jumbo extra extra large flap which by the way is one of my favorite Chanel bags I own by far if not maybe favorite can I say that I think it is my favorite I'll insert the picture here of it I don't actually have it because I broke the chain so when you look at the classic Chanel chain the leather fell out of metal and the metal opened and Oh, it's okay. <laughs> the everything like basically like fell apart. So I brought it to Chanel Atelier to get fixed, and honestly, it took the longest time ever. Like, kind of to the point where I was like, "This is the the longest it ever took any brand to fix something, and it's still not fixed." So I brought it in August to be fixed. Around. November the 1st or so they emailed me to say that they ran out of chains aren't you producing bags Chanel I don't know so they ran out of chains and the, the bag the chain will arrive on 20th of December which was quite recently then of course I emailed the first thing on 20th of December because I cannot wait for this bag to be back and then um, they told me that basically it will be fixed soon so I'm really hopeful because that bag is like a perfect everyday bag I love it so much I was so happy that it wasn't stolen when I think like five of my Chanel bags got stolen right so we had the turquoise the green pink yellow classic flaps as well as the pearl mini flap got stolen and then that one wasn't because I guess they noticed that the chain was broken and they wouldn't be able to fix it because once you bring it back to Chanel they would know who it belongs to so yeah that's long story short um how did you like this Chanel collection video let me know what you like the most thank you so much for watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next one bye guys